Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitch Gear Gaming. It's James here, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the last few episodes. Um, I do apologise uh, for any West Country folk that I offended with my terrible accent in the last few episodes. <laughs> um, we're back in and our next mission is to take on Radagoss's hideout. Um, so we're currently still in the woods here with our eight men. Um, we're not too. We're a bit low on food. Uh, five days until no food. Oh, that's okay. It's not too bad actually. I think we'll we'll manage. Um, so I believe I have to go and raid this. I don't know how many people there are here. That's the thing. This might be a bit of a challenge, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go back here or. I think I am. So I'm going to do it. Wait, actually, no, no. Let's let's get some more troops first, because um, I tell you what I need to do actually, uh, which I did forget to do. I need to turn this up. It wasn't as loud as I actually initially thought last time. I'm going to put it at ninety percent. Yeah, ninety-one. Whatever. That's going to hurt some people's OCD, but there you go. Back to Tavir. We might better recruit some more troops. That's the reason I'm coming back here. No. Well, that was disappointing. That was a waste of a trip. Alright. Leave. Oh, the sun is setting. Oh, we could have a night battle. That'd be interesting. We're going to do it. What did that do? I don't really know. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's here. Okay. Right, let's do this. It's going to be a night mission. This might be tricky because sight is going to be... I think trying to see what's going on is going to be a bit tricky, but we'll give it a go. Oh my god, it's, it's dark. And we're on foot. I don't like this. I don't even know how to change weapon. I cannot see any enemies right now. Oh, hang on. Uh, told them to charge. Where the hell are they? I don't like this. Ah, is it down there? Oh, they're going in. Okay. I don't see anyone. <laughs> it's so dark. Okay. Ah, oh, I see them. There's just one bloke. Oh no, this place is massive. They have a whole valley here to themselves. Okay. Not hitting anyone. My men are doing all the work. Oh well, I've got seven for tactics now, and I didn't even do anything. My men are too fast. How do I run like them? Do I double tap? No. Shift? No. Zoom in. Control? I don't know. Maybe I've got too much on me. It's slow me down. Is that it? Well, that was easy. Oh, here he is. The big man himself. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's about to kick off. So who is it that comes through my place of business killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested a dozen little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to the slave market, I know, though. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that or I force you to lick up the blood of your sp you've spilled here with your tongues. Or you and I could settle this one to one. Oh, I don't want a duel. Oh shit. Do I duel him or not? <laughs> Fuck it. 
Come on, get in. I... How do I change weapon? I don't... Oh, I don't know how to change weapon. I can't fight him with a bow and arrow. That, that was a stupid decision. I don't know how to change... They didn't tell me how to change weapon. This is a highly unfair. Where are my men then? I've still got eight men, right? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to have a look at the controls because I thought the tutorial would tell me this, but it clearly doesn't. Because uh, I've got an axe. X. Switch weapon. Melee or range. Okay, right. So it's X. And E is kick. Right, let's try this again. That was that was embarrassing, quite frankly. I've got no food. They nicked all my food. It's fine. We're going to nick it back. Right, I just want to see. No, X doesn't work. Oh, this is annoying me. Okay, let's see. Switch weapon usage doesn't work so do I not have that axe or um. camera toggle are oh. hmm Caps lock. Alright. All right. We're just going to do this bit again and figure it out. Oh, I was already running. I'm just slow. So, how come I couldn't change weapon? I thought I had another weapon. That's kind of unfortunate. Right. I think the day is breaking, but I think we're we're better attacking under under a cover of darkness. But I can't believe I died so early on. That's so annoying. Well, I didn't die technically, but I don't think I can because of the difficulty. That was a good shot, though, if I may say so myself. I can't keep up with my men. Okay, I'm going to try and hit them from here. That was terrible. I, I'm pretty sure I've got an axe equipped, but why I can't use it, I don't know. Someone, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. Make me look like a right idiot. <laughs> but that's okay, as long as I know, find out. That's, that's all I care about, really. Come on, hit him. Nice. Oh shit, okay. I wasn't, wasn't quite ready for that. So, who's that? Who's this that comes through my place of business killing my employees? Yeah, we've had all this. I don't do all slavers. Men, attack! I can't see a bloody thing. I let my men do the dirty work till I figure out how to bloody. This doesn't work. Hmm. All right. Well done, lads. Sweet victory. I don't know. Okay. Let's have a look. We didn't lose anyone. Excellent. Um, 
I didn't kill anyone because, yeah, I got left behind there. A bit frustrating. Well, I recognise defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You'd better help us get our brother and sister back or you'll swing from the tree. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drop down in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin, but uh, pal palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. All right, little bitch, little whiny bitch. No, I've got an axe there. Um, right, let's take these prisoners. I'm sure I had more prisoners before. Oh, well, um, done. You come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest Tactios mentioned to you. That had something to do with uh, Noretzi's folly. <laughs> it's always a difficult word for me. Right, here we go. Not on. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece though, it doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tactios was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Alright then, let's get on the road. I have a better idea, we could have a better chance if we split up now. <coughs> I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver's market and look for a way to free the children. Um, however, we must be careful not to endanger their lives and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed, you'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help you. Tactios said it could be worth a fortune to the right person, if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. Ooh, family name. <gasps> okay, you can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining the, an audience with nobles, and it's easy, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Mm, okay, we're going to go for... I was going to go for this as a first name, but I've decided to go for it as a surname. Glitchgar. Sounds like glitch gear, <laughs> but it fits in more with the Viking theme. That's what we're going for. Okay, so we've got to raise some money. Oh, we we got to pick a banner now. Awesome. Okay, um, let's have a look. So, size. What does that change? Oh, it changed the logo. Okay, so we've got a deer at the moment, which is pretty cool. Um, oh my god, there's so many. What do we want to go for? Uh, well, this is quite cool. Got a serpent or a dragon. Um, this looks like the French fleur de lis. Uh, ooh, this looks like a symbol for the air nomads from Avatar. Okay, Caesar's head. <laughs> um, Oh, there's a Viking banner. Oh, we've got bows here. That's quite cool. We wanted to focus on bows. I like things to do with nature as well, though. So if there's like a cool tree. I don't know. These are kind of lame, actually. Um, Lannister. Our, our background colour should be black, then. And then our symbol should be red, because... Really? You can't... All right. Blue, red, that's kind of red. Because then that's like the channel colours, you know. Uh, ooh, that's a cool dragon. Or is it a griffin? Yeah, I think that's a griffin. We've got a griffin, we've got a hawk. This looks like ancient Aztec or Mayan symbols. I think. I do like this griffin. 
glitch gar griffin I like that alliteration the glitch gar griffin let's pick it let's do it the glitch gar griffin get on the road now once I locate the little ones I'll come find you okay let's do this we tutorial is over really oh man okay you can now you're now free to explore Caradia. right we're on our own now guys um, <laughs> and I'm on my own literally um, oh okay let me just see so I've got a quest to rebuild my clan investigate Noretzi's folly um, so what do I need to do increase my dinars by a thousand grow your party to 20 men reach clan tier 1 so I have to improve my renown to reach clan tier 1 hire one companion so I guess that's like a hero rather than just a soldier um, inventory character wait where's my inventory the character can I right this is stuff I've got to figure out on my own uh, master mastery of fighting with one handed weapons either with a shield or without how to learn fight with a one handed short weapon well I, I, I tried <laughs> um, so focus points what's this so current focus amount cost I don't really know what that does oh I see I have so I can invest points into into this can I oh I can't get them back that was a bit of a balls up alright well I guess we're focusing on one handed for now <laughs> which is a bit annoying I didn't really want to do that but. next level at 10 so I've got total I've got three skill points and the next level is when I get 10 I guess gain a total of seven skill points to level up this character okay right that's done but now I want to check my inventory because see I've got nothing here so all that loot that I had before I guess it was part of the tutorial but I don't have it anymore so why can't I um oh do I have to put that in my in my hand no melee weapons melee weapons got my sumter horse light harness all right I, I guess I, I guess I have to start again but that's fine um, so I'm, I reckon maybe it didn't let me change because I was in a tutorial maybe I'm not quite sure but his hideout's still there there's two raiders left in it could go and kill them we're going to go back to Tavir and try and get some more more recruits because we need to stock up our army again and day is breaking day is dawning um, so the land, lands around Tavir are owned mostly by Faron an archon of the so southern empire the village is going through hard times farm tools are rusty and broken and brush, brush and weeds are reclaiming the outermost fields well yeah that's unfortunate so they've got who was it we spoke to before was it I think it was Escorios wasn't it they've all got very uh, Greek like names Escorios lost this Gorigos it's pretty cool okay uh, we're gonna recruit troops Ooh. oh they've all got they've got two each we're gonna recruit all of them so we've got seven men me plus six, I guess. And we can have a maximum of 21. So 20 troops plus plus me. <coughs> That's what we want to try and do. Byproducts. What have we got? They've got some cheese and... Uh, we've got grain. We've only got two grain. We're going to get four more grain. Some... Cheese. I don't even know if this... Okay, we'll just go with that. It's quite expensive, but I don't. Uh, we need food if we're going to feed our troops, especially if we're traveling far. Um, okay, wait here for some time. Who are these guys? Looters. Should we take out the looters? Yeah, let's go kill some looters and get some loot. <laughs> let's go loot the looters. God, they're running fast. He's going to the training field. 
Are we going to fight in the training field? That'd be pretty cool. I need to go over here, really. Oh, we've caught up with them. Okay. This is going to be the real test, then. Um, right. Yeah, what do you want with us? Surrender or die, brigand. You'll never take us alive. All right. You're going down. Do I... Right, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. I'm going to see if I can change weapon this time. I don't think I'll be able to, but... No, it's not letting me. That's really weird. Or do I scroll? Ah! I press... I hold X and I scroll. Alright, uh... F1, F3. Attack! I'm going to try with my axe now. Oh, that wasn't great. Let's run them down. I think they're just going to die, though. No, I hit my own man. Whoops. <laughs> oh dear, look, their bodies have stained the grass. There's nothing left of them. Oh yeah, there is. They're just hiding in the grass. Well, that was an easy victory. Woohoo! How do you cheer? I really want to know how to cheer. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. That was that was a quick and easy defeat. Ooh, got an upgrade. On the troops, I think? I'm not sure. We killed them all though. Let's have a look then. Let's see what we can do. So uh we're gonna nick all these stuff because they're worth money. Highland wrapped cloth, commoner shirt, wrap shoes, leather shoes, grain, nice, blacksmith's hammer. How much damage does that do? 25 blunt. This does 60 cut. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna take that then. So, alright, done. Then what? Oh, wait, party. So, you've got an upgrade. So, upgrade to Imperial Infantryman, upgrade to Imperial Archer. Ooh, we're gonna go for Imperial Infantryman. So we got one Imperial Infantryman, ugh, can't even say it, and one uh, and five Imperial Recruits. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. So what do you look like? Oh, you're much better, look. Look at that. Does he do more damage? Don't even know. But that's good. Alrighty then, folks, I think I'm going to leave it there. That's the end of the episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Please subscribe and hit that um, bell button, bell notification, so that you uh, are notified when more episodes um, are uploaded. Because if you're enjoying this, I'm uploading much more uh, in the next coming weeks. Um, so if you like your Banner Lord and you're enjoying the, sh enjoying the show, then uh, yeah, please stick around for more. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take it easy.